Precision Race Street Firing Point at the barrel in the back straightaway. So the green flag is out and we're back underway here and Colby first one to the strike, but here comes a 17 as of Sam Kersey as he'll try the high side of the speedway off at turn two for the lead, but Colby holds him off. <laughs> the little Chuck. The little Chuck. is Chuck chucking <laughs> his way to the top spot there on that lap. I'm not sure if I'll call him that in victory lane if I he wins. I, I'm interviewing him <laughs> at the first race. You got this one. Allow his other car to beat him. There's just no way this is going to happen. Here comes Chuck. <laughs> Which has always those magic words like the big wrestlers have. Oh, Sam Kersey oh. in trouble. And double checkered in the air. The Lumberjack, Chuck Pauls, and picking up the win. Dakota Beckler, second, third goes. Yeah, he was giving me a good run for his money. I think he was a right front go play it, but he was there. The pro race car, Mod Lights, and they'll hit the pole position raceway firing point. We're underway with the second feature of the evening. They work it down into turns one and two. They get a good run off the corner of the 11X of Brian Myers. He'll lead them down into turns three and four. Myers holding on to the lead, but there are nearly three wide behind them as Wolves Air in the 19 of Jeff Sykes. Coming hot and heavy. To the lead as they work it down the back stretch now. Isabel Jr. third. And now Joe shoots to the inside of Sykes. Back and forth is Mullen. And fifth is Brian Myers. Isabel with a lead between three and four, but Sykes is right back after him. Whoa, Jeff Jr. got up on two wheels there off of turn number three and four, able to reel it back in. Meanwhile, battle for the lead continuing here off at of turn two. Drag race down the back stretch for the top spot. Well, taking the lead, Joe Isabel with 12 laps in and eight to go. Isabel Jr. tries to close in on his brother. Does he have enough time? Works to the inside. No, Joe gets the win. Second is Jeff Jr. Yeah, I could hear him behind me, but Barney tells me where he's at, so he does one heck of a job. Here on Tracy Road Equipment Night here at the Speedway. Green flag is out and we're underway. 25 laps of racing action coming your way here on the D-shaped dirt demon. It's Ricky L being nearly there. Oh, jam up. We got pile up in the first turn. Brent Joy involved. Earl Rudy, the 31 of Barker, the 15 of Root. It took off. Here we go again. Davis trying to maneuver there on the bottom pass. Ricky Yell and Townsend there on the high side. As at the stripe, it's Yell by a front bump. They're battling two by two, two rows deep, and they're three wide behind for the fourth, fifth, and sixth spots as they enter turn three. Well, Mike Prentice trying to make a move. Now Townsend on the outside takes a lead down the front straightaway. Yeah. And he hold on as Ricky Hill goes right back. So F goes around. Right in front of the 87 of Rocco Leone, and he had nowhere to go. He's got the line off of two. Can we swap lanes or Townsend going to throw a block? No block throwing. Davis way upstairs. Meanwhile, App comes back. App comes back Davis and keeps takes it going. Davis takes the lead off of turn number four. Power move by Davis. Another two fast times, two in a row. As a 15-9-6-9 for Davis. We got Meeks going around. Checker is out. Townsend second. Davis wins it. Yell third. Fourth is Bennett. Then puts on the sponsor hat. Ladies and gentlemen, RD3, Ron Davis the third. The rooftop two-step. Um, I messed around in the shop with ride heights, and uh, I played around with the car and um, tried some new stuff with uh, some old stuff that I ran three years ago. So um, the car was handling great. Um, I could tell from the heat race it was, it was good. The pole position firing point has been reached. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing. Green flag is out for the Tracy Road Equipment Big Block. Mount Appliance is a barrel down into turns one and two. Bartlett and Heil battle side by side for the top spot. Bartlett, he'll lead it down the backstretch. In a turns three and four, looks like he's going to exit turn four. Your leader for lap number one, your leader, Ryan Bartlett. Robbie Bellinger trying to charge, however, on the high side up to second. Robbie Bellinger up that runner spot. Oh, Vic Coffey nearly had his nose taken up by Chris Heil. Bottom dweller right now, and that's Ryan Bartlett. Here comes Bellinger down the hood, one off of turn four. And Troyer Chassis liking what it sees on the high side. The Tom's Row Tavern 8R to the lead here on lap number four. He'll continue on the high side all the way around the racetrack. Hop the cushion there a little bit, reels it back in, and he'll lead again here on lap five. It's still Bellinger now. It's the 9-8 going 9 up going to the inside. Down the back straightaway, Matt Shepard.
Stewart trying to take the lead. Bellinger not having any of it, though, as he'll try his might on the high side of the speedway. Bellinger leads by a car length there on lap 17, but here comes Shepard driving in even deeper. Better exit there off the turn two. Shepard to the lead down the back stretch. Driver of FX and Rare Chevy HBR Mohawk Northeast ride picks up the win. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Superman, Matt Shepard. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, we started out awesome here, and then we really struggled the last three weeks. Uh, you know, just had some different issues, and and that put us, you know, with a pretty good starting spot tonight, and we brought a really good race car here tonight, and it uh, feels good to get back here. Six of Mullen will hit the pole position raceway firing point. We're away here with the Mont Lights. They work it down into turns one and two. The 06 of Mike Mullen with a nifty move there down the back stretch. He'll take the lead. The 88 of Zach Babcock trying to follow suit as he's side by side with Wolves there for the runner up spot. Three wide. That is for the third, fourth, and fifth spot. As the six of Joe Isabel went from fifth to second. We got cars up and around and on top of each other. Stevenson, Osborne, and the 5J of Jeff Isabel. And there are three wide for the third, fourth, and fifth spots as the 6J and the one split the 29 of the Rabbit Wolves there. And Mullen will lead the way. Oh, Mike Mullen. Man. Yeah. Mike Mullen leads the way at three wide for second, but not for long, as Joe Isabel is at it again. Definitely tough to beat. Zach Babcock, oh, there was Isabel taking the lead, and the uh, 88 of Zach Babcock sits back in the three spot, holds on to it for the moment. Slakes is right there, Garofalo is right there. Checker flag out for Isabel. No, we messed with the car for the first feature, and then I went back to the slick track setup, and the slicker to track, the faster this car is. Green means go. They're at the pole position raceway firing point. They fire them away. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes, they used to say. Remember those days? A little history lesson. Here comes Colby. Colby Herzog makes that move down on the inside. Here comes Chris Botnowski in the 16B. Dupra takes that 2D to the high side. Sam Kersey is in the number two spot as we have one lap in. Sam Kersey back and forth, and fifth is Jack Tasky. And as I say many times, here comes Chuck. And there goes Chuck. And we know Chuck's towing. Off the turn, checker flag out for Chuck Pavalsa. Give him 77. Second is Chuck Krispinovsky. Third is going to be... Stickers weren't enough indication. This man knows how to pull it into victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, the lumberjack, Chuck Pawalczyk. Kiss from his wife. No, it's a lot of pressure, but we got it done. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you.